Good morning. Welcome to St. Francis and John Catholic Parish, especially to anyone who might be visiting us today as we are celebrating this 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. All readings and music for today's Mass can be found in the Missal. Please stand and let us together recite the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please join us in singing our entrance hymn, Praise the Lord, ye heavens, number 567. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Friend, we come together, prepare ourselves for this celebration. Let us acknowledge our sin, and ask God for his mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another, and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the womb of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen, amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob. Exalt at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with child. They shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road so that none shall stumble. For I am the father to Israel, Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord, Lord. has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. We store our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things to us. We are filled with joy. A reading from a letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, Every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Christ destroyed death and brought life to life through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho, with his disciples and a sizable crowd. Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and said, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. 
So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is perhaps one of my favorite gospel. I can feel it. I don't know about you. You can feel the synergy, the enthusiastic of, of, of the character that play within from Bartholomew. You, I, I, you can smell the incident. You know, the man by the roadside, and he wears something upon him, he's blind. And the disciple rebuke him. That's a lot of noise, right? And he called out louder, son of David, son of David. And Jesus stopped, take courage, get up. Jesus calling you, that was summoned. And then beautiful, Jesus said to him, reply, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied, master, I want to see. Jesus told him, go your way, your faith has saved you. In me, the man received his sight and followed him on the way. You see, that's constantly activity. But the, the, the thing that captivates me on this gospel is the profound the statement that Bartimaeus asked Jesus he wanted to see. He did not ask him for a million dollars. He did not ask to become feel better and feel good. He knew exactly what he wanted, he needed, okay? And Jesus asked him very clearly, what do you want me to do for you? You know, friend, how often in our life we get praying to God, but we know what we ask and got to the point saying, so tell me what you want. Stop beating around the bush, huh? It's so immediately, so profound. You see, friend, this gospel is very confrontational, I think. It is not the situation about the mayors, but it speaks within a culture. The culture that you and I very much part of. I call it the blind culture. We had become so confused and, and, and not able to see. You know, believe in my ministry, I encounter so many young people, old people included. They have no clue what they're all about. No different bother mayors on the side of the road. You know, we all always on the side of the road, isn't it? Because we never, because we don't know our mission, our purpose. We always on the side of the road. You know, you love all those famous chair that we all have now, they call it the lazy chair. Most people has that, remember? That, that lazy chair, now they have a remote control. They have heat on it. They have, uh, what else, uh, a beer mug on it. And they have recliner. Talk about fixation of crippling. We might not blind by the Bartholomew, but we paralyzed in many ways. You see, this is the culture, perhaps, Bartholomew reminds you and I. When you approach God, make sure we must understand the mission, what God is about. Even closer, what does Jesus intend for you and I in our own baptism? What is the real intent mission that God intends for you as a marriage couple, for you as a student in college, for you? as the children of this community. What does that really mean? Oftentimes we function like a side of the road. Occasionally we hear some excitement, we cheer. But yet both the mayors know who Jesus is about. You see, friend, once you know that God is truly the source of life and goodness, yell for him, scream for him, don't be a bystander and confuse the different voices. Am I right, Christian? We are at this time when everything in our life is one voice after another. We all have our own ear pods. We're so blind or, or deaf. Perhaps this gospel, it is not about Bartholomew at all, but it's about you and me 
How often we are so blind that we claim that Bartholomew is blind. We are so deaf and mute. We see everybody is deaf and mute. Perhaps Jesus reminds you and I, let us make sure we re-examine our life. Do we have a mission? Do we have a purpose? What does God intend for me to live today, this very moment, in the life that meant for me to live? Beautiful. Go on your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. Yes, Jesus said, what I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, it is truly when we follow Jesus faithfully, understand what God intends for us, then what we are having is the opportunity to move, move the way God wants us to move. You know the country to movement is dead. Yeah, lazy couch, remote control, back massage, those are positioned when we are prepared to die. So perhaps this gospel, I think for me, I find a lot of excitement in this gospel. God wants us to be confident because God had called us out of darkness into the newness of life that we may live and witness that Jesus himself is the way of our eternal peace that you and I are long for. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident and place our trust in hope of our God, let us present to him our prayers and petitions. For our shepherds in the church, that they may deal patiently with the ignorant and the erring as they come to recognize their own weakness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord who brings back the captives and does great things for the lowly may move the hearts of the powerful to compassion and guide them in the ways of justice and peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that the prayer of Bartimaeus may become our own and we may know how to cry out our need for Jesus with courage and insistence. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. for all of us gathered at this Eucharist coming to Jesus because he has called us in his merciful love that our faith may enable him to open our eyes so that we too may follow him on the way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are journeying in tears, the blind and the lame, the sick and the grieving, the poor and the exalted, that the Lord may counsel and guide them leading them to a level road of healing and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our faithful departed ones, that Jesus, the great high priest, may offer on their behalf all the riches of his perfect sacrifice and bring them rejoicing to the heavenly feast. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Gracious God, we give you thanks for this wonderful day as we present to you the gift of our petition. Trust that you will hear them. If it is your will, what will be asked through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. pray. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we made to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For our compassion, for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Lord, you are indeed holy The fount of all holiness Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For these are the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, 
spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to gather with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleaded throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ give us safe for eternal life. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by this heavenly sacraments, we have been prepared by your gift for receiving what they promised. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Proclaim the gospel by your life. Thanks be to God. Of love and still is ours too.